Bulgaria's Black Sea coast could be a picture of paradise, but appearances deceive. What may look like a pleasure cruise is actually an environmental research effort. Marine biologist Dimitar Popov and company have set out in search of dolphins. They see none. Popov trains volunteers to monitor the Black Sea. It needs monitoring. Nowhere else in Europe is the water quality worse than here. The pollution has increased to the point where the water here could become a dead zone. The Black Sea is actually an enclosed basin and very sensitive in terms of its biodiversity. The marine biologist places much of the blame on the resorts concentrated in the sunny beach and golden sands area and the tourist masses attracted by cut rate package holidays, a huge moneymaker. Environmental activist Dancho Kirov sees the consequences. He's received a report that dolphins have washed ashore dead near Krapets on the Romanian border. Are there any dead dolphins here? Tourists point the way to one they spotted here the day before. Right near the sun worshippers lies a cadaver of a Black Sea dolphin. The population is endangered. This one here is a baby Black Sea dolphin. He must have died two or three days ago. Kirov documents the find. He's observed a massive decline in the dolphin population along Bulgaria's coastline, running parallel with the boom in tourism and the construction of hotel complexes. Dimitar Popov goes right to the source of the problem, a sewage treatment plant not far from Sunny Beach. It was built to handle wastewater from the local residents, not from thousands of tourists. Now the raw sewage is dumped into the sea. The impact on the ecology has been dramatic. The process of decay causes eutrophication, or over-fertilization, depleting the oxygen in the water and damaging the entire food chain, from the plankton to the little fish to the bigger fish to the marine mammals like dolphins. They all suffer. In 2007, the European Union provided funding to build a new treatment plant, but it's still just a shell. Construction has been proceeding at a snail's pace. At the same time, vast hotel complexes seemingly sprout overnight without the necessary infrastructure. To pop off, it's a political scandal. All the authorities have to grant permits for construction. On paper, it looks as if all the requirements have been met and the inspections had taken place. But that's only on paper. At the mayor's office of Nesebr, we had an appointment to speak with the construction commissioner about the misuse of EU funding, but she never showed up. Kirov informs Dimitar Popov about the baby dolphin. When the dolphins start dying, he says, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Bulgaria doesn't even have a laboratory to examine the cadaver. The environmentalists are left to their own devices. But they're all the more determined to raise public awareness of the plight of the dolphins and the threat to the Black Sea.